have a night YouTube so today in this video I just want to share or talk a little bit about sisterhood the revival of sisterhood and specifically the dark side of that when I say dark side I really just mean kind of almost like the taboo side the side that's not always spoken about the undesirable side of it um, because when we talk about sisterhood a lot it, these conversations are always just kind of one-sided kind of just about how we can be there for each other we should be there for each other and helping each other working together all of these different things and so yeah sometimes when I say dark side sometimes that looks like not always having or manifesting or attracting those beautiful beautiful experiences those flawless seamless experiences in relationships with other women sometimes that revival of sisterhood looks ugly and it looks undesirable and it looks hard and seemingly harsh sometimes it looks like not getting along sometimes it looks like jealousy sometimes it looks like envy sometimes it looks like aggressive disdain disgust but i think a big part of that and having those experiences comes from the need to revive this sisterhood and I also think that what can be birthed from those experiences um, is the revival of that sisterhood and so when we have those experiences I think that if we go into them work through them and just see these experiences as lessons as opportunities that we can actually come out on the other side really like healed and not just us alone like our genes our genetics our the bloodlines the dysfunction the wars between women that have been going on for centuries all of that can be at least begin begin we can begin to heal those things and to eradicate it and to Make it disappear and dissipate. Because for years, for centuries, for a very long time, women have been in competition with each other. We have not been able to work together. We have not been able to be in the same spaces together. And to come into a space where all of those things are being exposed, where all of those things are you know, we are being called and asked and required to heal those things. It's a responsibility and it's not easy. It's not pretty. It's not that picture or that image of sisterhood that everybody wants to have. But we can actually come out on the other side of it refreshed and renewed and ready to really be able to nurture something. It's in those darker moments, those yeah. the undesirable moments where we can actually say, wait, wait. These things aren't normal. These things aren't natural. And it's in the forgiveness. It's in the forgiveness that we can actually begin to heal ourselves and heal our sisters. It's the forgiveness. And so I wanted to bring up that and mention that just briefly because even from experience, I can see and say and admit how I have fell short in those type of experiences. And I can say that I know that I have a responsibility because I keep having those experiences. And I pray that anyone who's listening to this right now if you're in a situation where 
you've lost friendships, you've ended friendships, or your friendships, sister bonds, or whatever you want to call it, have become hard and rocky, seemingly unstable. If you and your sister are willing to sit down and really go into the depths of those things, to the depths of those relationships, to the depths of those challenges, and face them with an open heart, with the heart of forgiveness and understanding, you can do something that is beyond you and her, that is beyond any individual that's healing the earth. Because it's the women, it's us who can really shake a lot of things up. You know, we have a big responsibility and we must heal our soft side. We must heal ourselves. And we can start there with our relationships with other women and our mothers and our daughters and our sisters. So that's all for now. Um, I'm full of thanks to be able to share this message right now. And again, I pray and I know that this will help someone. And I know that whoever's listening will have the strength and the courage and the open heart of forgiveness and understanding to heal our generations, heal our so-called earth. So, until next time, God, I heal our grow eye. Bye, bye.